NDA has reposed its faith in Narendra Modi once again and has declared him as the leader of the alliance, setting the stage for him to return as the Prime Minister for record third term. However, as Congress President Malikarjun Kharge vows to take appropriate steps at appropriate time, the NDA decided to take things in writing. The India bloc will continue to fight against the fascist rule of the BJP led by Modi. We will take appropriate steps at the appropriate time to realize the people's desire not to be ruled by the BJP's government. This is our decision and we all together agreed on these points and we will definitely uh, whatever promises we have given to the people that we will keep it up. There has been speculation that TDP chief Chandrababu Naidu and JDU leader Nitish Kumar could be approached by opposition's India Alliance, which finished with 232 seats, just 40 shy of majority, and is likely exploring a government formation bid. To offset that, the BJP has secured written letters of support from the TDP and JDU bosses. Despite the support letters of NDA partners, crucial issues are still on the table to be discussed, like key portfolios and cabinet berths. Well, as of now, they all stand together with a grin on their faces. But it remains to be seen how Prime Minister Narendra Modi will manage the bargaining as the collision drama is all set to unfold. Sources have said that a variety of demands including special status for their states and a pick for ministerial berths are on the table. Meanwhile, the NDA is all set to stake claim for the government formation at the centre on June 7. After which, Narendra Modi could take oath as the Prime Minister for the third time on June 8. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.